Welcome once again, and today I want to talk about an old tradition of mine, Old Hallow's Eve. Now, there's a game I used to like to play back in my younger years, Cemetery Tag. And in order to play, you need at least four people. One person goes in, and they write down a bunch of random names off the tombstones and you divide them up in the list depending on how many players at least giving each player six or seven names on the list try to make sure they have to do as much running around as possible and they go with a piece of paper and they make pencil rubbings with paper and Whoever gets all their names first wins. Hallow's Eve is a magical time. For me, it's the one time a year when you can truly be yourself. And if you are yourself, you can truly be whoever you want to be. You can be anyone else. I could be a YouTube samurai bitch if I wanted to. Would that want to be much of a costume, though, would it? No. I don't think it would. So. But alas, this year, your plucky young heroine will not be adventuring out on the creepy eve of Old Hollows. No, alas, she shall be staying home, or working. But yet, I still celebrate in my heart all year long, as many people keep Christmas, thus do I keep Halloween. The most sinister and foul of all holidays, except for next to maybe Labor Day and the 4th of July. And definitely President's Day, which is a very creepy one indeed. Or maybe that's just be the president we have at this point in time. But anyway, off the true subject of Old Hallow's Eve. How I used to celebrate it so barefoot, walking around in the cold, watching the fog roll, slipping into a nice cemetery. The terror filled me. Every little sound scared me. How I enjoyed it. But yet I hate horror movies. Go figure. So for those that play Cemetery Tag, beware. Some people don't like to be disturbed. And many already are. Tread carefully. Oh yes, tread carefully. For who knows how long it'll be before you become a resident of that hollowed ground. <laughs> huh. But since I can't celebrate it this year in my traditional fashion, I figured I would share my my game with all the other people in hopes that they may celebrate it for me. That they may find joy. It's such a silly, simple ritual. <sighs> but alas, this is Ariana Linfins saying I bid you adieu.